Okay, so for today, dito kami sa hometown ko sa May Helaguna. And dito kami because we're celebrating 7th birthday ng lolo ko. So, dito lang kami for an overnight stay. So, before kami umuwi, I'll just make a tour muna para sa inyo. So, I'll show you around. One thing na pinaramis ko sa sarili ko during the start of this year is to visit this place once every month. Kaya lang, due to the pandemic, hindi na nga nangyari yun. So, let's begin this tour. Alright, that's it. This is just a short, sweet stay here. I'm out. I'm back to Las Piñas. Okay, let's just continue this video here at our home sa Las Piñas. Since it's my Lolo's 79th birthday the past weekend, I want to dedicate this whole video to my grandfather. My Lolo, my grandfather, has a very huge influence on who I am today. And I'm very grateful and thankful kasi not everyone got the opportunity to grow up with a grandparent, uh, let alone teach them important values na magagamit nila when they grow up. So I just want to share important values that my Lolo influenced me. Karami hindi ito, hindi naman talaga directly tinuro sa akin. I just pick it up by observing him and his actions. I I think one of the biggest insecurities na he had to overcome is he is undereducated in the sense na hanggang grade 5 lang yung natapos niya and he feels na if only he was able to parang uh, pursue higher education uh, instead of working at a very very young age he could have probably achieved more but kahit ganun nga yung sitwasyon nila ng lola ko before they were able to figure out how to send their kids to college they are not big time business people but they're able to figure out how to run a business that could support themselves and their family eventually after the kids finish college my mom my aunt and my uncle they're able to scale up yung business nila they're able to acquire more land plant more lands on his trees and hire more people with them and that's their story the first value that i wanted to share is don't let your status determine what you can achieve. Hindi porket hindi ka nakapag-aral to a well-known university or college hanggang dyan na lang yung kaya mong abutin. Never let your status limit what you can achieve. Oo, totoo na pag nakapag-aral ka to a well-known college or university, you have more privileges and opportunities. Pero naniniwala din ako na if you have a high work ethic, you know how to work hard, and you have big ambitions, even if hindi ka nakapag-aral sa sikat na school, that alone is enough to give you a shot to make your dreams come true. The second story that I wanted to share happened in 1999 or 2000 when my Lolo suffered a severe stroke. He lost control to half of his body and I think uh, most people who suffered from that kind of situation lose their spirits and their hopes in their life. It was one of the most defining moments of his life. He never quit. He was able to turn that situation around kahit na he was not able to regain control to half of his body. From that point on, mas naging sharp pa siya on his business and that's a near that experience that really changed his life not just physically, but by how much he appreciate moments in life. I think up until last year, sumasama pa sila ng lola ko too far out of town trips or travel. Pero time really caught up with them. Uh, Doon sila sa age na hindi na talaga masaya mag-travel. Pero before, even nung nagka-stroke na yung lola ko, nakapunta pa siya ng Palawan, ng Boracay, ng Cebu, ng Ilocos, ng Baler. I mean, it's not bad for someone who loses control to half his body. So when there are times where I face adversity and I feel like quitting, I just look at the situation ng lolo ko, at may isip ko na lang, damn, that old man loses control to half his body, but he still finds ways to make things work. My Lolo, my grandfather, only knows one business to run and that's being a producer and supplier of Lanzones. And I think he's one of the best when it comes to it. That's their business that they rely on to put food on the table, send their kids to college, 
basically to pay all their bills. And up until now, na 79 years old na siya, still excited pagkalan sa honest season kasi it's a seasonal fruit. It starts bearing fruit from August up until October, so it's three exciting months for them every year. I don't know what year nag-start yung lolo ko into Lansones business or how did he learn this business because it's way beyond my years. And yung Lansones din kasi is a fruit na makikita mo talaga dun sa hometown ko sa May High Laguna. Looking at his story, I could easily say na he found his passion very early on in his life kasi alam mo yun, malamang sa malamang if my mom and his siblings finish college, kung hindi niya talaga gusto yan, he would already drop that business. But up until now, he's still excited and grinding na alam mo yun, gustong gusto niya pa rin talagang patakboy yung business na to. In today's current career advice, we often overlook yung happiness in the workplace. We usually think lang yung uh, how much are we gonna get paid and how easy it is to get a job. And uh, tingin ko din naman, important yun, pero it's only important sa start ng career mo. If you start thinking about yung long-term or sustainability ng career mo, I think you should highly consider yung happiness mo in your workplace, your happiness in your job, or your happiness in career. Kasi if you really look at it or think about it, Half of your life, magtatrabaho ka. And do you want half of your time na buhay ka? You're miserable? Siguro naman hindi, di ba? So find a job that you're happy doing. I know it's easier said than done, pero that's the only option you have to have a fulfilling life. Or the alternative is misery. Lastly, I'm not a huge believer of retirement in a sense na magpapakasarap ka na lang after working for 20 to 30 years kasi totoo lang, mababoard ka agad. So find something that you love and do it for the rest of your life. It may or may not be a source of income but I really believe na it should be a life goal of every person in the world to seek something that they are happy doing and do it for the rest of their lives. Last that I wanted to add here are some money management tips that I got from him. I've said this a thousand times on my channel and akala ko before, saving money was the norm kasi yun yung tinuturo nilang practice sa amin ever since we're a kid. And uh, based on my personal experience, uh, it really pays dividends. And alam mo yun, it will open you a lot of options pagka may idea ka that involves money. Lastly, reinvest in yourself or in your business kasi compounding is really true. One of the best decisions that my Lolo made was to plant more Lansonis trees 10 or 20 years ago and now he's literally reaping the fruits of his good decision. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you find something really good from this video. But before you click away, please kindly smash the like button and subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber because I'm really close to hitting the 2,000 subscriber uh, mark. So yun, every help will be much appreciated. That's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bam.